I'm very disappointed to say this, but Yuta Okatsu is Jujutsu Kaisen's biggest fraud. It's not been only one or two chapters, it's been around five or six chapters without seeing Yuta Okatsu, and it seems pretty scummy for someone that really wanted to join the fight against Sukuna to not show up at all. You know those people that act like they are going into the fight but want someone to hold them back so they don't fight? Yeah, that's Yuta Okatsu. After Gojo died, he looked like he was about to jump right in, but Maki just stopped him with a shoulder tap. Absolutely unbelievable for someone that said they wanted to help Satoru Gojo, and is why the reason I'm calling him Jujutsu's Kaisen biggest fraud. But before I get further into the video guys, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe so you guys don't miss any future videos, and with that said, let's continue the video. So it's been around 5 chapters, and Jujutsu's Jujutsu's Kaisen's second strongest is still missing. He's not fighting Sukuna, he's not going for Kenjaku, and he's not seen to be with anyone else. We have no idea where Yuta Okatsu is, and Yuta Okatsu is said to be the second strongest Jujutsu sorcerer. So what the hell is happening with Yuta Okatsu? I believe that there is only three things that Yuta can be doing right now and if Yuta is not doing one of these three things, then Yuta Okatsu has to be one of the biggest frauds in Jujutsu Kaisen. And number one will be fighting Sukuna. After Yuji and Higuruma fight Sukuna, maybe he will join the fight and he will redeem himself. Number two is go fight Kenjaku. We know that he's not with Kenjaku, but he could potentially fight Kenjaku after Takaba is finished. Or number 3, he is possibly healing Satoru Gojo. And my guess is that he's possibly healing Satoru Gojo, but a lot of evidence is proven that he's probably doing something else. What you guys may ask, well, he's possibly just being a fraud, hiding and waiting to like finish the battle with some sort of sneak attack. Like, Yuta is not getting the credit he deserves as the second strongest in Jujutsu Kaisen by the author himself by just making Yuta not visible. Where the hell is Yuta Okatsu? Yuta is obviously not going to fight Sukuna because if Gojo couldn't to defeat Sukuna at his base form. What makes you think that Yuta can beat Sukuna when he just went on this whole other level? He has a higher possibility of possibly going to fight Kenjaku or healing Satoru Gojo, but we can completely take Sukuna out of this question. Right now, it's only one of these two people that are going to beat Sukuna, and that is Yuji Itadori or Satoru Gojo, and it will not be Yuta Okatsu. The main villain of the story so far has been in Sukuna so the main villain needs to be defeated by the main character which is as I said Satoru Gojo or Yuji Itadori which is technically the confirmed main character. Anyways I had to make this video exposing the biggest fraud in Jujutsu Kaisen so far so if you guys enjoyed and if you guys have any theories down below that you'd like to share definitely comment it down below in the comment section I will respond I read every single comment and with that said I will see you all in my next video.